All right, what you doing over here? Adding water. Getting set up. All right, so he's got all his bags set up, ready to rock and roll. We got our vacuum down here with a HEPA filter. Uh, that I will hold that to control the dust. Um, that way we can keep that. Either way. here's one of our footings. Measure. 16 by 24 and so on. What are you doing, Harley? Um, making it to where they're more transportable and they're already open. So, if you've ever had a bag of concrete over like the edge of a wheelbarrow, cut it open and all the concrete dumps on you, you know what I'm talking about. So, so you, mix, you mix half a bag at a time? Yeah. Um, and with the method I'm going to be mixing, I kind of have to. People get all hyped up about that. Nope. Alright. Anyway, so Harley's getting ready right there. Getting the mortar ready to go. we got the laser set up down there to shoot our blocks. Now, you're probably wondering did we care about the height of these footings? No, we actually don't care about the height. We cared about the depth. Got to get them below frost line. But um, over here, due to the fact that we're using those jack posts right there, those extend from four, four foot eight inches up to eight foot four inches. We got a bunch of variation um, to work with. So we're gonna lay up a couple solid four inch blocks on top of our footings and as soon as the the guys move that duct work down we can boogie across there i think i'm gonna call the plumber out have him bump this up with a piece of packs that three quarter inch right there but he'll clear our waistline right there so good to go all right yeah it's ready mm -hmm. Place some blocks. He says, <laughs> he says nothing's going to fit. I say I don't know. Can you point the glove out? Why is the glove on there? Eyes. Can you show them a uh, demonstration? What would the glove do? Ah! Yeah, see? Yeah. That's why it's it just there. just helps a little bit. So sometimes we even use bigger ones than these. But you can see it's got special head that you don't have to overly drive it. Especially when we're putting LVLs together, we like to use these structural screws. Um, and the cutters on them, they got really good cutters. See right where this is? It's going to hit right on these places here. So, let me grab a plate. So the plate actually will go like this. The plate will be just like so, right on top of that splice. 
That's how we do things. We do it right. All right, <clears throat> give us an update. Um, <laughs> Show so us what we've done. We did the brackets. Yeah. So we had to do that, and then we slid the boards in. So the brackets worked out pretty good, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need to do this more often, even in stubby crawl spaces, because there's no, you don't have to hold the beam up in place. And then we slid all of the individual boards in there, and got them all to the same flush height, top and bottom. Leveled it up and screwed it together with clamps. So this girder is like over 20 feet, feet, 24 and a half feet long. Yeah. Yeah. And so what I did is I shot a laser level. Thank you. And I leveled all them up going down through there. And I marked my joist up there so that way I knew back and forth. And we are moving on to this. Let's get them screwed down. Mm -hmm. Mount it. Uh -huh. So you see how many many threads are sticking out of that one right there? That's ideal. That's ideal. Mm -hmm. This one right here, we've really not even started cranking that much. And to go to the next adjustment, we're just not there. So basically what we're gonna have to do is go and extend it and trim a little bit off here. Now we already did that to the center one. And we're gonna have to do it to this one and the one that Harley already took out. So, all right, let's get to it. Zinger right there and should fit fine. Hope it does. Alright, so we got all these jack posts in. Plenty of room to for adjustment. You know, you, you can't you can't do all that adjustment in one sitting. Um so after the girders in here, we'll take it up. Uh we'll be able to adjust a little bit tomorrow. Half turn or whatever. We'll slowly take it up over the next uh, uh week or two weeks. And because you can't you can't just go in there and just take all that adjustment up within immediately because you'll start busting stuff up the wood has to slowly relieve and um let go so uh, let me show you what the plumber did see that right there when you take pride in your work that's what it looks like you bump them up thank you for doing an excellent job there tilly Harley's cleaning the floor up. We're gonna have to come back in and cover that vapor barrier, but he's done an excellent job cleaning everything up. We are done down here. Let me get back to the other part of the job. So this pretty much wraps up this part of the girder job and hopefully you guys have enjoyed.